Hey there guys, Kent Gainwars here doing a review on the Wazoo Fisher or Killer. Um It's like the Mora companion's cousin. Or Mora, yeah, you know any more really. Uh it's got that same handle look. Uh, same blade profile, but it's got that edge right there. So it doesn't it's not straight Scandinavian. I got this for five bucks. Um, I do sell these. Or I plan to. Um, I'm currently out of stock, but they're a great little knife. You know, they're cheap. They're uh, I sell them for six bucks. Um, their handle is that rubberish material. Uh, it's really grippy. It feels real nice in the hand, just like the Mora's. Yeah, it's got a lighter blue, which sticks out for me a lot better than the green, the OD green looking like stuff. The sheath is a little different. Same concept and stuff, though. I like that you can... Um, ones that I've seen don't have that, so you can carry it either way. And this is down the middle. So you can carry it um, left or right hand. I believe that this is right hand. Um, it's got all the scuff on it. Uh... Cheap, cheap knife. Great for EDC, preppers, all that. Um, the blade is not full tang. It goes to right about there. Pommel's real strong. I've beaten in some nails with it. Or staples. Yeah. Um, so, it's fairly sharp. comes fairly sharp. It's not razor sharp or anything. It's not, you know, it's not that Scandinavian grind. It's not super easy to sharpen either. Uh, Mahu Killer. I do sell them. Um, I'm currently out of stock. Uh, when I have uh, more in stock, I'll do a video of that and show y'all the link. But you know, it's uh, cheap, so it's got all the seams. They didn't do those quite so well. Two composite pieces just smacked together in the middle of the blade. The sheath has all these seams. I've shaved them down because that's another complaint. But for five bucks, six bucks, you know, I sell them for six bucks um, plus maybe a little shipping uh, usually free shipping on eBay uh, great knife it's got that little I don't find that useful at all but it's you know to push the knife out of the sheath but all the seams you, know, you can't complain too much cheap knife uh, it's actually it feels really great in my hand but the seams all stick out a lot so, you know, you have to shave some of them down, and I need to take some sandpaper back there and get some of those. Just, when seams stick out on stuff like that, it bothers me so much. You know, like the drain hole down there, I kind of cut up because it was smaller, and the seams just had filled it in. Uh, okay, so, can't really set you down here, but I will be trying to... Um, we have some of the fat wood that we processed the other day. Um, I'm going to have to pause you here uh, for a second and get some of that shaved off. And I'll talk about how well that shaves. Uh, it's a great point. Some of the fat wood that we processed with the uh, Schrade SCHF-10 the other day. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's got, I've got some pieces I can break up more. Um, and I'll do some batoning, but right now I don't have my tripod on me. So I'm just using one hand for this and one hand to do the knife. And it's really hard to do videos. Um, so I will be right back. Okay. Okay, wow. That um, that actually processes that way smaller. You know, I got a thinner piece right there. I broke off this. I broke a lot of these into more pieces. And I wasn't even smacking it with anything too big, just a smaller piece, this right here, of fat wood. Um, and it processed that really well. It gets, it gets it into thinner, smaller pieces, because it seems to be a thinner blade. And follows a straighter line than uh, thicker blades that I've had. Um, yeah, so look at that. That's, that's about a quarter of what that piece was. And it doesn't even matter if it curves off a little bit like that. It followed that line real well. So that, um, that baton's actually pretty decent for smaller pieces. I'm, um, I'm afraid to do anything too much bigger. 
you know, that piece could be shaved down a little more with this knife. You know, it's just really great, I've noticed. Um, so, small batoning, you know, not huge logs, but, you know, good pieces like that. You could go through real easy, you know, shaving up, kindling into smaller chunks. Um, I do have some Instafire here. I'll be doing a review on that. Um, and we'll be doing a striker test here. And we'll see if we can't get some fat wood shavings off. And we'll see how it shaves and feather sticks. Alright. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I just got done shaving that. Um, wow, that knife does a really good job. Uh, better than my bigger knife, the Trade SEHF-10. I did a review on. A little... A few big chunks, just because I was using a shorter piece and it was hard to get smaller chunks off of. But, you know, you can see all these smaller shavings. It shaves at that really well. Um, and then, so feather sticking. Fat wood's not the easiest thing to feather stick, but um, I got some right there. Fairly small and fairly thin. You know, a lot of surface area. That'll take a um, fire pretty well. So, we have some chunks here. And just for the, we'll see if it can spark some of that fat wood that it shaved off. Um, you know, shaved off that that piece right there. Don't know if you guys can see that shooting it with my phone too. Um, other camera decided not to work. Um, so there's you know, the fat wood. It's fairly hard stuff. You're gonna get some bigger chunks with a duller knife, smaller knife, and shorter pieces. So, so far, this knife is definitely worth the six bucks. Um, fairly happy with it. The Another thing, another complaint with the sheath is, I don't know if you can see that, but right there, the rubber rubs off where you pull it in and out. So just expect that from yours. Um, but again, it feels great in my hands. You know, it's blades, good. That's seven inches from tip to finger, so the blade... Um, is over seven inches total. That's including what's in the handle. And you know, the handle is about a five inch handle. Fits in my hand real great. Um, it's fairly light. Its balance point is right about there. Sorry, it's hard to do with one finger. Um, Alright, so let's see if I can't strike some of this. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, so that fat wood didn't spark too well, but this throws pretty decent one. Sticks in that knife real well, especially for the stainless steel it's made out of. Um, so we have the Instafire. Uh, see, see how that does. Um, try and see if I can't position you guys so you can see what it does, spark-wise. In there. I just broke my fair seam rod. Wow, oh, okay. So there's that. It just broke. <laughs> right down there. Okay. So it throws a pretty decent spark. I'm gonna have to get a new ferro rod now that mine's broke. Yeah, so you have to be careful with these. A lot of times you get bubbles. That one has a bubble, especially the cheaper ones. So, anyways, there's that. Just gonna light it with a match. Um.
That would normally light better, but that's the Instafire. Not like you don't have a ferrocene rod. Just have that tiny little chunk. So that sucks, I'll have to get a new one of those. But there's that. Yeah, it stuff's like... Woo! Burns hot. Yeah, the Instafire is great stuff. That's the fat one. Yeah, that stuff will burn a while. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Wazoo. Or not Wazoo, Wahoo. Sorry. Wahoo killer. Awesome knife. Highly recommended. Uh, great utility knife. You know, it's pretty decently sharp. It's not that easy to sharp. It wouldn't be as... It's not as easy as Scandinavian grind. Um, still an okay knife, though. I do recommend it. Don't buy cheap paracetamol rods. Or don't be upset when your paracetamol rod breaks because it's usually because of a bubble. Like it looks like mine was. A little black spot right there is a bubble. Caused it to weaken. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, Oh look, we got it to autofocus. Huh. So maybe I can actually get a picture of that bubble. Come on, autofocus. Yeah, that little black spot is a better picture. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, that's my latest review. See you guys later.